but this arm really relaxes it. It gives me a time to step and jam. So once I jam through and elevate this leg, it will kick out in time. So when I go down, as we're going down, instead of me staying here and falling to where Sensei Ray can guard me and gain advantage, as we went down, if anybody noticed, this knee went over the top of his leg. Okay? So ultimately what I did by putting this leg over and keeping my foot on the inside here is to hook his leg so he can put his feet around and cross him behind me to guard me because I want to be in the side control. This would be kind of a neutral position with me being here. I, you know, I could be raining down shots, but he can be attacking arms and things too. So, and look for sweeps. So as I'm taking him down, it's key not just to say, wow, I took him down, but gain that advantage right off the bat as you're going down. Where I set my knee on the way down is important. Once I do that, hook his head, this leg kicks high and out, weight still on his chest, transition in. So now from here, since they raised got his arm in a vulnerable position, which is tucked up under mine, I may slide up and go knee, control on his hips so he can't scoot away, posting his face over the top. Guys, just move back just a little bit so that right, people understand. So it's a lot going on.